everyone, how are we doing? Welcome back to my channel, A Life in High Definition. Hope everyone is doing great. It's so good to be back and filming in my regular filming position rather than trying to find some light somewhere on holiday. What have I got for you today? Well, if you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, why not? You know, here it is, A Life in High Def then you know that I had a whole stack of unboxings to do because when I was away things got delivered of course and now I've collected them all and I'm ready to start recording. So what am I going to start with? Well, you've seen the picture, you've seen the title. You know what we're here for, glossy box. Not just any glossy box, glossy box with Karl Lagerfeld and Model Co. You see, you see, you see, you see. You may have seen this on other channels already but I've got it and I want to share it with you anyway which is why I'm not wearing any lipstick because I do know some of the items inside. So if you want to have a look at everything that's inside and hear my thoughts on it, you know what you need to do. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell and don't forget to share this video. All right, let's get into it. So Karl Lagerfeld went and did a collaboration with Model Co and here are some of the items in this box. Model Co is actually an Australian makeup company and Karl Lagerfeld is a design genius. I don't know, I couldn't really tell you because I don't know that much about his stuff, but he's supposed to be good at what he does and Model Co are supposed to be good at what they do. So when they can find forces, are they good? Let's find out. The price of the box is 30 pounds, but if you're already a subscriber to Glossy Box, you can pay 25. I actually paid less than that because I had about seven pounds credit on my account from you lovely, lovely people using my code to sign up and that is what made me get this box. I wasn't gonna get it, but when I saw I had that credit, I was like, okay, that makes it more affordable. Plus it's like 3.99 PMP. So, yes, it is a bit more expensive, but the total box is supposed to be worth about 117 pounds, I believe. I'll double check. Look, it's even got his head in there. He's not just glossy on the outside. He's in there too. Glossy box normally is pink with a black ribbon, but we've got black with a pink ribbon today. And it's all very fancy because look, even the book has shiny Carl head on it. So it's Carl Lagerfeld, one of the world's most renowned fashion designers, has teamed up with iconic Australian beauty brand Model Co to create the most exciting beauty collection of 2018. Carl Lagerfeld's vision and aesthetic combined with the innovative quality cosmetics of Model Co has resulted in Carl Lagerfeld plus Model Co, a limited edition collectible beauty range, introducing illuminated beauty. So, the box comes like this. I think everything's hiding. <laughs> that was kind of underwhelming, wasn't it? <laughs> right, let's see if I put everything on the top. It looks a bit better. There we go. That's a bit more impressive, isn't it? So, what should we begin with? Well, since I haven't got anything on my lips, I'm going to start with this, which is a lip gloss. Just says Carl Lagerfeld by Model Co on there. Let's see what the information says. So this is Lip Gloss Ramatuel. You can see what it says on the screen. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a deluxe mini, 1.2 mil. I don't know if that means this is 1.2 mil because there's no size on it anywhere. Or whether the full size is 1.2 mil. Um, full size is 22 pounds. So this gorgeous creamy lip gloss delivers a burst of highly pigmented color designed for all day wear. Plus the cushioned one applicator makes this gloss easy to apply, resulting in a smooth satin finish. Apply gloss to lips for intense colour and satin shine. So let's do it. No time like the present. So this is the applicator. Nothing particularly special about that. Oh, it smells delicious. It smells like candy. First it smells like candy and then it's kind of like minty. So just on the back of my hand here. So it does have a fair amount of colour. It does definitely look more opaque on camera. Let me just hold my arm up. Um, on the lips, it's on the hand, it's slightly more see-through. But um, you can see the shine on that though. Look at that go. That is one shiny gloss. 
that look super shiny now. So this isn't a colour I would naturally gravitate to just because it is quite similar to my natural lip colour and I always feel like is this kind of colour getting lost? But it is very shiny isn't it? Look at it go. Tell me what you think of this colour on me. Is this a suitable colour for me to wear or is it not? I always get really nervous. I mean I've used it now so I'm going to have to wear it but you know what I mean. Is this the colour I should be going for or should I wear it with some kind of pencil underneath maybe? Let me know. Okay so we've done one. What's this? This is Baked Blush in Rose Pink. Now, we got another Baked Blush in our glossy box, but we have been promised that this is a colour we did not get. So don't worry, you will not get the same colour as you already have received. If I can get it out. It says, it creates a warm glow to brighten and highlight every complexion. The micronized colour pigments and luxurious pressed powder delivers a sheer natural radiance that lasts all day. And it looks like this. It's very pretty. Looks like eyeshadow, to be honest. I mean, you can't really see the beautifulness. It's really beautiful to look at. And that's what it looks like on my finger. See? That is really... Again, another shiny item. I guess this is what they meant by illuminating. So how do I feel about this colour? Well, for me, this is the kind of thing I would use as an eyeshadow or a highlight. I don't think I'd use it as my full blusher. I'd probably use it sort of over the top. So let's see if there's anything to go with it. What does this say? Uh, be ready to dazzle and shine. Sweep the brush on powder onto high points of the face such as cheekbones and brow bones. It can also be applied on eyelids or on top of blusher. You see, I'm ahead of the game. I already know what I'm supposed to do with it. That's what I just said. This is a full size item, which is great. £31 worth. Wow. Uh, and you know what it comes with? A blush brush. Here we go blush brush part of the set I was actually on the model co website earlier and I couldn't find like under Carl Lagerfeld all the items so I'm not sure if there are more brushes or not but I will probably pop it on screen if they are Let's see well it is quite nice and soft isn't it well let's go for it this brush is 22 pounds wowzers this multitasking brush with ultra soft bristles is ideal for flawlessly applying bronzer, blusher, powder and highlighter. Dust the brush over the product and shake it off the excess before applying. So I'm going to dust. I'm gonna, that picks up. I'm going to shake. I'm just going to go. I haven't actually got any base makeup on, by the way. I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> so we're just applying highlight to nothing. But look at that. Can you see how that's now shiny? Yeah, that is really nice for a highlighter. And if you wanted a glowy blush look, you could definitely do that on the cheeks. Even though this is just on my bare skin, I wouldn't say the colour's that intense. Like, there's a hint of colour, but it's not so intense that you couldn't just use it as a highlighter if you didn't want pink stripes on your face. I actually really like that on me. Does it suit me, or do I just look like a grease head? Let me know. Okay, let's move on. What have we got? Or let's throw things on the floor because that's the other thing I like doing. You know, I love throwing things on the floor every single video. Right. So, what does it say? This super fine water resistant liner guarantees control and precision. Easy to apply. The angled felt tip applicator is a must have for fine lines and strong flicks. Using the liner, draw a line starts the inner corner of the upper eyelid working towards the outer corner. This is full size. £21. There we go. That's what it looks like on the outside. So you can see that it's got a very pointed tip and then it's got a flat side. So it's round on one side and pointed, I guess, so that you could have that as your tip. And if you do it on different angles, if you go on the side, you can have different shapes. I'm not sure if I actually like that flat tip. I 
prefer how it looks on the side actually. A little bit of a point. Oh, look how thin that line is. And then of course you can get a thicker line. But it looks very nice, does look very black. It's an eyeliner, what more can you say? So we're down to our last two items and they sort of come as a set because they are a lipstick and a lip pencil. They are both red. So the lip liner comes in this one and it's full size, 21 pounds. It says amplify your look by enhancing and defining this lip liner. Highly pigmented and creamy. This red liner matches your matte lipstick perfectly and glides on effortlessly to create a fuller pout. So it just looks like this. Is that upside down? That's upside down. Oh, well, that's a nice color. There we go. It's very soft, very creamy. Wow, that is literally like applying lipstick, but in a pencil. Quite impressed with that. Is this one of those ones that you can actually thingy it down? It must be, right? You must be able to pencil sharpener this. I don't want to do it now, but it, otherwise you wouldn't pay, what, 21 pounds just for that tip, would you? Would you? Let me know. So this lip liner is so smooth and creamy and I, I could easily just fill my whole lip in it, but I want to try the lipstick and see what it looks like in the middle. I really like this, this is so nice. So the last item is this, and this is a mini lipstick. I don't know if it screws up or not. Oh yeah, it does. So you get this much. I actually don't mind these small ones because A, I don't think I actually get through any lip products ever, and B, I think these are a nice shape for applying. It says, this matte red lipstick is a must have for full coverage, long lasting and highly pigmented lip look. The nourishing and creamy formula glides on effortlessly to saturate lips in a sumptuous kissable colour. Apply to clean lips, filling in from the centre out. So let's have a go. I think it's very slightly pinkier than the actual lip liner. I don't know if you can tell, but that's what it looks like to me. It says they're meant to go together, but because it's a very slightly different shade, it almost, it makes me want to go over it a couple of times to build up to the same intensity of colour, because this is slightly less intense, I think, in my eyes anyway. There we go. Well, I love a red lipstick, so I am super happy with this. I'm not sure, I'll give it a moment or two to see if it's kissable and show you at the end of the video to find out whether it is like smudge proof or whatever. Just in case you want to see what it looks like on my hand. It looks like that. Do you see what I mean? It's not quite as intense as the lip liner, but it is still very nice. And it works out fine, look, when it's on my face, it's fine. So, what do we think of this collection? Well, I really like it actually. At first I was like, mm, I don't know if I need this in my life. 30 pounds seems like a lot. But obviously not paying £30 really helps because it was like £17 or something before PMP, obviously. And um, that really helped me. I don't know how you guys feel about the price, but the total value of the items is really high. The only thing I don't particularly care for, well, I don't really care for the lip gloss that much. I do think it's really shiny, but I'm not sure about the colour, but you will let me know and the eyeliner I could live without. I love the lipstick colour, I love the lip pencil. In fact, I actually wish that the lip pencil formula was the lipstick formula because that went on even more smoothly than the lipstick did. I mean, the lipstick's good, don't get me wrong, but the pencil felt even better. So, and I would never go and spend 22 pounds on lip pencil ever, so this is like exciting. This is posh makeup in my makeup box, trust me. I actually really like the blush. I didn't think I was going to care for it, but I enjoy that as a highlight shine. I think it's nice and I look forward to putting a proper face on and trying it out fully. Can I wear it like a highlight just on my face now without proper foundation and anything else on my skin? Like I have nothing else on my skin. Let me know. And I love the brush as well because I would never spend that much on a brush. So I'm really happy to have an expensive brush in my collection. It's very soft feels nice I'm sure it's going to do the job that is it so thank you so much for watching this video I hope it was interesting and helpful to find out about this model co times Carl Lagerfeld 
Times Glossy Box Extravaganza. Let me know what you think about the box down below. And until you see me next time, I hope you live every moment well and take care of yourselves. Bye guys. <laughs>